hi guys welcome to my crazy life it's Lori and today we're gonna do a review and unboxing of the 3F UL backpacking tent this is the Lan Shan 2 now I did not order it from 3F I ordered it from Kiteville same tent on Amazon this one cost $143 and I got it in red now this is a trekking pole tent so it doesn't come with any any poles um, to put it up you use your trekking poles and they are not included trekking poles so I got that also from what I've read it does need a little bit of seam sealer so I picked up I think this was like five dollars some uh, gear aid silicone tent sealant so I grabbed that I have scissors now I did take it out of the box but I haven't unpackaged it yet because I wanted to read the directions, which are not great, just so you know. But came in a nice plastic bag. And then this is what it looks like. So I got the red tent. They do have it all different colors. It comes with some tags and some direct, uh, not directions, but some information on it. Um, it does say it's waterproof, but everything I have read and re watch other reviews folks do recommend some seam sealer where the um the guy out mesh is stitched on it and where you can see stitching so i'll do that but what i need to do is cut off my tags i'll keep those and then this is how you carry the tent it'll fit in my backpack now if you're not a trekking pole user so if you don't use trekking poles or if you're car camping you can i believe order some type of a pole for this um not 100 percent sure you have to check their website but i believe that they do and this is just ripstop material but this is a nice cinch sack you can get it back in here and um yeah get it packed away so what we're gonna do here is i'm going to unclip the sides um, I need to learn how to set this up. I've never set up a tent before for backpacking that doesn't have poles. So this is a not freestanding tent, I think is what they refer to it as. So this is your bag. It's nice and thin. I think this whole thing weighs two pounds, I believe is what I read, which is fantastic when you're backpacking and carrying everything. You can also use it for car camping or whatever. But I'm going to flip the camera around. We're going to set it up together for the first time and see how I do. comes out looking like this. We're going to unroll it. And here's our tent stakes. Now, I think I can get lighter ones to take a little bit off, you know, some ounces. So we'll see about that, but you get, they're pretty light actually, but in the package, you get repair. You get extra guy lines for the sides and these tent stakes and you get eight of them so i probably will pick up a couple extra just to have and then this is extra fabric i'm assuming you there's directions on how to use it if you need to patch it okay so what we're gonna do here with some clips but the rain fly does come off if you want to take it off but we're gonna leave it on because we're gonna first we're gonna take our four tent stakes and we're gonna stake it out from four corners
Now, I'm going to show you what I'm doing here. Hopefully you'll see it. When you open it up, you've got straps that slide like this. You want your bottom one down and hook it. And then when you want to go tighten it, you pull it from the top and that will tighten, tighten it up. I'll show you real close here. So you have two straps, they're attached. You want your bottom one longer and your top one is what you're gonna pull to tighten it. So right now I have all four corners pulled out and they'll get adjusted. But next we're gonna put our um, trekking poles in the peaks. That'll now the one thing it didn't tell me was how tall to make my, my trekking poles. Now you can adjust them up and down to um, lower your sides. If it's windy, you'll want the tent lower to the ground. I'm going with what works for me height-wise. I may have to adjust. But the first thing I want to do is untangle or untie the side guy lines. But I will say one thing, and I read this and saw this on many. There's a knot at the bottom. You do not want to untie that. That's going to hold it out. And then the other thing I've read is that you want to make sure this is hooked up before I hook it out. So we're going to do that here, right? And then we're going to get up under here. In the bottom, put this through. I'll get closer on the other side. Oh, that's the second step, sorry. This goes up in here. And now it's up. Next step is the stake this out. All right, now what we're going to do on the back side is the same thing we did on the front, and I hope you're seeing this. So we're going to come up here. Under here is an area, and that's where I want to put my thing. Now, I've just pulled it over from the other side because I was tugging on it to show you. And then under here is a elastic. And that's where the bottom goes. I may need So now it's sort of up, but I need to fix these sides to tighten things up. So we're going to tighten here. We have that tightened. Oh, I see what happened over here. I pulled my stake out of the ground pulled my stake out over here. Let's put that down. Now we're up, but we also need to tighten. Tighten over here. We're going to reach up under and get this here. On the other tents, it was elastic, so I'm not sure, but I need to fix that. I'm going to put it over this spike. So hold one second. I took the bottom. This goes to the bathtub and you pull it taut, and then you tighten your cable. So that corner is tight. We're gonna do that all the way around. It's open, it's up. It's pretty taut. I could um, extend my trekking poles to make it a little taller to get more ventilation under, but we're gonna get in it in a second. So right here's what it's gonna look like. The yellow line is the bathtub, and the top is the outer. Now, this is where I'm going to do the seam sealing around here. This is for a guy line that I can put out if it's windy, and this will help stabilize it. And also, I'm going to seam seal it here. And then I'm going to fix that, my pole move. So I need to fix that. So I got my pole in the right spot. Up in here is for ventilation to help with condensation. 
I will probably seam seal where those stitches are over here, but this is seam taped, so I shouldn't need any of that. So let's open up and get inside. So we're inside. That's where the truck and pull is. Up here I can hang lights or whatever. This is the bathtub floor. I could tighten this out a lot. But I will tell you there's plenty of room for me and my gear. Here's my feet, let me lay down. And I'll so I'm laying down and I have plenty of room for my head. I definitely need to raise the trekking poles because it's sagging on in here, but it's roomy. Let's show you. Here's my feet. I got plenty of room, just needs to be taller. And there's plenty of room in here for me and all my gear. And then this is what it's called the vestibule. And there's plenty of room out here. Under here in the vestibule, you can cook in there. If it's a rainy day, I could store my shoes out there. If I want two people in here, I can store my gear. The only thing I need to do next time is raise the roof. So I'm very happy with this tent and for $143, it's gonna lighten my load completely. Now I can't give you a full review until I actually use it, but for now, I think it's pretty darn spiffy. Um, the what wishes is that they told me how tall to make my trekking pole. So now I'll know and I'll probably put some duct tape just to mark how tall to make my poles so that they are taller. So what will happen is if they're taller, uh, the roof inside raises and these sides won't be so close to my body. But I feel very confident that this tent is going to keep me dry and an enjoyable backpacking experience. Thanks for watching.